Welcome to the next evolution of the input jive. My patented prototype places 75 keyboard keys and a mini trackpad mouse in the palm of your hand. The input jive is now Bluetooth 4.0 wireless. It's also adjustable. Slide the keyboard around on the base plate until you find a position that's comfortable for your size hand. The mini trackpad mouse is adjustable also. We added desktop mode. Slide off the mouse, attach it on top, just being able the base plate, and place the input drive conveniently close but outside of your work area. When it's time to type, rest your wrist on the desktop, put the little finger on top of the white key, ring finger goes between the two green keys, the middle finger goes between the four red keys, and the mouse is now controlled by your index finger. Just relax and you're ready to type. Some people prefer to type with the right hand. Slide off the mouse, rotate the keyboard, snap the mouse back on, you're ready to go. Left side or right? Your work area isn't dominated by an oversized keyboard and mouse. Looking closely at the keyboard, we see a power switch down here in the corner. Turn it off and on to connect with a Bluetooth 4.0 device. Between the two printed circuit boards is a lithium ion battery and USB charging connector. Next we have seven five-way switches. You are looking at five independent switches and a very compact circuit component. Imagine controlling five different lights from one switch. Essentially that's how it works. I've set up an example of how you can program all the vowels to one five-way switch. Pushing forward sends the letter A, back for E, right for I, left for O, and down for U. This is the program shift switch. When slid forward, the input drive changes to a secondary program for the keys. Now pressing forward does not send the letter A, but the number 1, back for 2, right for 3, left for 4, and down for 5. A single switch may be programmed to send a single key or a series of keys. My favorite keyboard combo is alternate F4. Press here, and the input jive sends the combo, closing whatever I'm working on. Faster than using a mouse to try and find that little X in the corner. It saves time when I'm in a rush. Based on frequency of use, the letters typed most often are programmed to the four red-capped five-way switches located here. Easy to access with one finger. Compare that to the hard to reach keys like Y, B, and T on an old style keyboard. Thanks to great software and hardware from Ultimark, you have 10 programmable keyboard keys in the space of one. The mini trackpad mouse is compact and well built. The disc you see in the center is the trackpad. It can detect tiny finger movements, yet if you use the swipe gesture, it will send your mouse arrow flying across the screen. Press down on the trackpad for your left mouse button. Over here is the right mouse button. If you're surfing the internet, press the button at the bottom and you go back a page. Pressing the button on this side, turns the trackpad into a scroll wheel. 
Finally at the top is the click and drag button. Surprising number of features in a very small package. Adding a magnetic base to the input drive means that it's no longer simply a handheld device. It can be placed here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here, over here, in here, and here, and here. Okay, I'll stop. You get the idea. I really like using the HoloLens. It is a big step forward in the world of computing. The input drive works well with the HoloLens after a quick modification. Slide off the mini trackpad mouse and magnetically attach the clicker that comes with the HoloLens. I like thinking on my feet, hate being chained to a desk. The input drive connected to the HoloLens makes it possible to work at several virtual monitors spread around the room and at the same time I can walk around a virtual reality project make changes instantly without ever going back to a desk. The reason I started work on the input drive was to build a device that's easy to use when we trade in our smartphones for smart glasses. The glasses will be a compact version of this, my wearable computer running Linux Ubuntu. The problem with smart glasses is how do you make a simple phone call or answer email without some kind of input device. Voice and gesture input are becoming popular on home electronic devices. But I don't want to look goofy walking down the street making funny gestures in front of my face or appear to be talking to myself when I'm trying to get information from my smart glasses. Based on my experience with the HoloLens and my wearable computer, the latest evolution of the input job will do the job of input anytime, any place. One of the nice things about the input drive is the built-in mobility. Simply slide it in your pocket and you're ready to travel anywhere in the world and beyond. Try that with your primitive keyboard and mouse.